Hi guys. So, it's 2020. And what does that mean for us? Well, one, there's a global pandemic going around, which is why we all have to wear face masks and have sticky out ears. And two, a lot of us are having to work from home now. Now, this means that we've gone from an office with, you know, lovely air conditioning, free coffee, dual monitors usually, you know, and, and all those creature comforts. But you don't have that at home, really. So, you know, some of us are working off personal laptops, some business laptops. But, you know, this is a 15.6 inch blade. But that's not enough real estate for me. And for a lot of you out there, it might be the same. Well, the company that I'm reviewing today actually thought about this before the pandemic kicked in. They decided that most of us probably want a nice, thin, light, touchscreen monitor to be able to be used at home. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Espresso Displays. I'm not kidding when I say it's 30 odd degrees in here. So, this is Espresso Display. Now you can tell from the monitor, it's a 15.6 inch monitor, so it's the same size as my um, razor blade. It's very Apple influenced in the way it's made. For instance, this looks very much like it's milled out of a single piece of aluminium, same with the stand. Very sturdy, you know, the, the stand is heavy to help support the monitor. So it's a 1080p touchscreen display. So, just like this. And if we go into Chrome, now this is their Indiegogo page. As I say, they originally um, raised 236,000 on Kickstarter. They've now raised 304,000 pounds on Indiegogo, which is fantastic. Because it's a great product. It's an Australian product. It's an Australian hardware product. And it's great to see them doing so well. Obviously, it's incredible and made me laugh because I have a Rode microphone attached to the camera now and a, uh, an Australian monitor, which is just, you know, 2020 might be the year where things are getting better, we don't know. Now, if we look at the ports on the right-hand side, you have two USB-C and one mini HDMI. Now, the top USB-C is for power only. Now, that's designed so that if you're using this monitor with something that can't provide it with enough power, you can put in an external battery bank. A bit like this Samsung one I have here, which I'll be using to show you how DEX works. The second USB-C port is actually the display port. Now this is plugged into my razor blade and it's providing the audio, the visual and the power. Everything is coming directly from my blade. Now yes, your laptop does take a bit of a hit in the battery department, but that's to be expected. And I don't have a problem with that because I'm gonna be plugged in most of the times I use this. This will be plugged into a dock. And just as an FYI, I plugged this into a dock and even when this is left out, connected to the dock via USB-C to USB-C into the dock, my laptop, when I connected it to the dock through USB-C, still woke the monitor up and powered it, which is exactly the look that I wanted for my stealth setup. That wasn't going to be on the dining room table. This is because my wife's now working from home and the stealth setup has been moved to the bedroom because the baby gets the front room now. Now, on the bottom port on the right-hand side is the mini HDMI. Now, it's important to mention that it's a mini HDMI. The reason it's not full size is it would have compromised the five millimeter thickness. So I appreciate that that would have caused problems and they do actually include a HDMI to mini HDMI in the box, which is brilliant because when I had to plug in a Skybox the other day to try and test it, I could plug it directly into the display using the battery bank for power and it was a surreal experience and obviously touch doesn't work there because it's a skybox and it's going through hdmi but still an incredible use of the monitor and i can see potentially getting you know using usb-c with decks or if you have a different sort of um, setup maybe you use a lightning to hdmi connector and you'll be using this in a field somewhere watching you know the football or whatever sport or movies you're into It'd be a great thing when you go camping now on the bottom, you'll see that there's two speakers and um, they're not really anything to write home about. I'll be honest, I'll show you when I use DeX, but you'll see that the mobile phone has a better speaker than the Espresso design, but then it's never designed to be an audio experience. It's designed to be an experience where you can use a bigger screen. Now, if you're using a Nintendo Switch, you'll probably use those speakers 
and they'll do you fine. They're a little bit tinny, but it's too thin to put anything substantial in there. Personally, not a problem for me. So on the left-hand side, you've just got two buttons and a headphone jack. Now the buttons are unique. A quick press will actually bring up the volume, so you can put the volume up and down on the, uh, the product itself. And a long press will bring up the brightness. So you can actually make it a lot dimmer or a lot brighter. Now me, I just have it on full brightness because that matches well with my laptop. Now the bottom port is a mini 2.5 millimeter headphone jack and it's the same deal as the mini HDMI. They wanted to put a full size 3.5 mil, but it wouldn't fit. So they went for a 2.5. Now there is no adapter in the box, unfortunately, but most of the products you're gonna plug into this come with their own headphone jack. It's just a nice little extra for them to put in. Anyway, let's have a look at the stand now. So if I unplug this, because it is a review sample unit, and I'd rather it went home nice and safely. Now, this is the metal stand that is an additional um, purchase for this unit. Now, you'll see this on Indiegogo, and it was on the Kickstarter campaign as well, and shortly they'll be on the website, and you can buy them when you can buy the retail monitor. Now, this is great because it's a very sturdy stand, but you can see that it's actually quite thin. It's got a good heft to it. It is, um, takes advantage of the magnetic um, plate here because the back of the monitor itself is metal. This means that it just sticks directly to this, which is you know a really good way of doing it. It means that you can, you know, I actually like the fact they've milled this little groove in just so it goes even flatter. That's, that's a smart little design touch. But it means you can just turn up, click in the monitor like this, and you can lower it all the way down here if you wanted. Or maybe you just have it, you know, all the way up here. And as you can see, it is quite sturdy. It's a bit of a problem doing it with one hand because it's not screwed in. But the other option you can do with this is undock it from here. And there's one of these available that is a VESA connector. So you can connect it to your monitor. You can just click it onto your, your monitors at work, take it away with you, pop it in your laptop bag. And when you get home, you're on, you're away. Okay, I've just folded those away so you can see what I'm doing. These are two pens that are available. Um, there is a passive pen. Now this was available to the first 1500 backers, I believe. Um, I think it was a Kickstarter, um, I hate when you forget the word. It was a Kickstarter stretch, um, I believe. So a lot of us get this pen with it. It might be something you additionally buy with it, but this just works with a little nub on the end and it's a, a passive pen. Now, for an additional extra, they do also have a, an active pen. Now, obviously active pens come with uh, their own advantages. If you're an artist, if you, you know, maybe you want to sign much more precisely onto letters and documents, etc., And um, it just charges through micro USB it's a little bit of a shame it's not USB-C because it would have just worked so well with the actual product itself having USB-C on there. But again, it's probably something that wasn't worth paying the licensing for a USB-C and it's version one, maybe version two will come out with it. Something to note is that you do need to turn it on with this little button here in order to start using it. Uh, it does auto power off. I'm not an artist, so I'm never gonna use something like this, but it's a very nice thing to have. Okay, and the other option, you'll notice it's vanished, is this uh, this little flip case. Now this is very similar to the ones you get from Apple with the Max, uh, except this one has three proper little joints in here to make that a very sturdy um, shape indeed. You just fold it out like that, pop it up, there you are, and that means you don't have to take the stand with you. You can go to a coffee shop just like this. It is then set at a default angle and it is much lower, that's why I prefer this stand, but this is something I backed as well because it's a great option for traveling with. Now, I just wanna talk about packaging really quickly. Um, the packaging, again, is very premium. It is nice, thick cardboard. It's not one of these rubbish ones you get from like John Will. Um, it has sort of the logo on the back. What I particularly like is the story behind this. Scott, thank you so much from Expresso Designs for explaining this to me, but this is actually some art that's inspired by Aboriginal um, life, and I will put a link in the bottom um, where you can find it. It was a project called Capata Dreaming. Um, and personally, I love when a company gets behind a design language like this, or gets behind a, a cultural thing. They're really embracing the Australian 
you know, feeling with this. And I think that's a great thing to do. In the box, you get a white USB-C to USB-C connector, which you've seen plugged into the laptop. You get a white USB-A to USB-C connector. Again, this is a USB-3, so if you didn't have USB-C on your laptop, this is a possibility. It just obviously won't power your device. And also this full-size HDMI to mini HDMI. Now, it's great that they include this. It's a shame it's not white and it would have you know, sat in with the design language, but that is what it is. And there's a slot here for the pen. There's also a cleaning cloth in there as well, which is a nice touch. And if we look at the mount box here, it's very similar. Obviously, it's not showing a real size on the sides like the real display was showing, but it's the same quality. It's very nice. I think it's a good thing to have. Okay, for this bit, I'm just going to show you decks, just because I have a Samsung Note 10 and it's easy to use. So if we just plug this power into the top USB-C, you'll see that the displays come on. And then if I just plug in my Samsung like this, it should automatically fire up Samsung DeX. There we go. And it's that easy. I didn't even realize it was this easy to use. And then on here, my phone now becomes a trackpad. And I now have a little mouse that can move around here. Or say I can actually just click around and I can go through my apps and everything and I can load up games and you know everything else. I think I've never used decks before and this actually gives me a use case for it now because having a mobile phone is nice and portable and light and easy to carry around and that's basically the same as the monitor. So this little setup here is suddenly a computer. So being able to take a small Bluetooth keyboard with you and using this as the, the trackpad, you've got a very, very light mobile solution here for working. And you can still use all your Microsoft apps on uh, Android, so that's fantastic. All right, I wasn't kidding when I said it was hot in here and I appear to have banged the camera slightly so it's not quite in the same place. Um, so yes, that's, that's all of my thoughts really for the, uh, the Espresso Design 15.6 inch monitor. As I say, it's available on Indiegogo now. I'll put the link in the description. There is a 13 inch model as well as a 15.6 inch model. You know, personally, I love the 15.6 because it matches my laptop, but the 13 inch might work better with your 13 inch MacBook and does use less power. So DeX can sometimes power the 13 inch, whereas a 15 inch power demands I mean it's more and it can't power it without the power adapter. But you know, that's just the, the joys of electronics. But you know, if there's anything you want to know about this, just leave me a comment and um, you know, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. There'll be a few more products coming up onto the channel soon. And um, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to the team from Espresso to give me a sneak peek at this product. And I'll leave it there. All right, take care guys, see ya.